My dad's flying me home to surprise my whole family. <laughs> I'm sad to leave my family. I'm about to head to Boston. It's about to be a really long travel day. I have COVID. Part two is sponsored by Ergata. I'm in the middle of nowhere in Vermont. This was the longest travel day of my life. Flew this morning from Knoxville, I flew to Boston. I'm gonna maybe get a workout in, maybe. Don't hold me to that. At Boston, we sat on the runway once we landed for two hours. And then I got myself on the bus terminal and I rode two hours to Dartmouth. That face. I've never felt more welcome. Can you just have belts? I have like my entire I was going in there as a joke, but uh, I got my belt from Fat Face. It's a really nice leather belt, so, you know, it was, it was meant to be. Bought a belt, had a little bit of dinner, then I Ubered to Vermont, which is extremely close to New Hampshire, where I was. Am I at the right place? This doesn't look like it's functional anymore. Oh. <laughs> Um, there's definitely no orange theory. I can check, but um, I'm going to say no. The train's running a little bit late, 30 minutes late, but oh, it's here, it's here. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Of course, of course. Excuse me, is this where you get on the train? Up this way? Okay. Of course, right when I start like bringing my camera out to vlog, I've been here at the place forever, literally an hour and a half. Then, of course, the train comes, but uh, now I have two hours in here, so I'm gonna chill. There's like nobody <laughs> on this. I mean, they're on the other car. I rode the Amtrak for too long. And then I had to take a taxi, which at the time, it was just someone saying they were a taxi. I didn't really see any signs. I did see a little meter, which was fine. But then he ended up taking me to a gas station and saying, uh, get in this van, which you never want to get in this van. Um, but I did. I felt weird. I shared my location with some of my friends as well, and they all were tracking me. And then I uh, got to the place. No, 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 no. Why am I not in? Thought I'm number 10. The owner of the place came out of the building and said, you're in the wrong spot. <laughs> and then she took me in her truck up the hill in the woods and now here I am. And all I wanted was a nice cold ice water with the liquid IV in it. And there's no water in the fridge and it's 1030. And the graduation is in less than 12 hours and she said it's gonna take at least 45 minutes to get to the graduation. I did eat healthy today. I forgot to tell everyone on Instagram that I'm alive. Whoops. This is not my best moment. Stirring some liquid IV in a bathroom cup. If I can still be eating healthy right now, I can always eat healthy, although I have no other options because I'm in the middle of nowhere. LOL at me thinking I was actually gonna go to Orange Dairy today. <laughs> See you in the morning. I'll be going back to Boston tomorrow. <laughs> I haven't taken a test yet, so I actually haven't conferred the degree. <laughs> Michael, it's <laughs> hysterical. <laughs> oh, Michael, it's right there. Was it your room? Are you guys okay? All of our shit soaked, but. Holy oh, Pipe burst into our room, dude. Well, I don't know. You were sitting in there and all of a sudden it's Yeah, no heat in there or nothing. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, it went through the hole. I mean, I took a shower. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. It won't, that won't, 
That won't activate a head. They'll activate a smoke detector. Okay. Okay. Yes. So I don't know if like y'all have uh, <laughs> clothes on the ground or suitcases on the ground. We have that. Get them up to your bed. Fucking uh -huh. Yeah, it's not clean water then. Yeah. Is it poop? No. Oh, it's coming in. Is it coming in? Oh, I definitely need to save my scale. <laughs> wow. Okay, Drew. <laughs> hey, wait. Let's just put our shit that we want new right on the floor. Because I'll reimburse it. <laughs> Get those native youth shirts. <laughs> The craziest trip I've ever been on. Honey, I think our room is right there. It is. That's our room. <laughs> oh my God. Really? Oh my God. When we thought it was just a fire drill, Something like routine. That wasn't serious. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, here was Michael. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get some coffee now. This this week weekend with surprising my mom. And now this, and traveling, getting here. It's been a, a sensory overload for sure. You know what, there's still time for to hit the fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would pull up again. You want me to, okay, we'll, we'll push it. Oh, <laughs> we got the young guys, we got the young guys. Here you go, here, let me oh, get this. There we go, another man. Got our workout in. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, of course. We worked out. This trip is insane. This is all happening within like the last uh, 20 minutes. I'm back in a hotel, but this time I'm in where I live. I'm in San Diego. I might have COVID. Uh, that trip that took a lot out of me, well, I'm still dealing with the remnants, remnants of it. <laughs> someone that um, I saw had COVID. I tested negative like three times, but I'm still stuffy, you know what I mean? And I don't have a fever. This is probably overkill that I'm at a hotel where I live. Probably don't have it. Probably don't have it. Probably don't have it. I have COVID. I'm not about to get fat up in this bitch. I mean, I, I don't think I'll be able to go to Orange Theory anytime soon because my sister says you're supposed to like work yourself back slowly. And of course, an Orange Theory class is not slowly, so we'll see. Hey, do you want to do an Orange Theory live class with me? No. Yes. Because I, I learned this lesson before during the pandemic. Like, I learned just because you're like in a situation where you're quarantining, you don't have to make bad choices. You know, I'm gonna, this is like a second chance to redo my, my quarantine situation because now I can actually, you know, Instead of just saying, oh, well, I'm locked in. I might as well get something to go. No, I know what happens. I've, I've read that story before. I've seen that movie. Hot girl walk. Even if all I can do is 20 minutes a day, I will rehabilitate myself. I will. I, I have momentum this year that I will not be losing. I've already gone through a whole case of water. So this is the second case of water. So I'm definitely drinking good. Um, I checked the scale this morning and I am two thirty four point two. So I haven't gained any weight. I just want to maintain. Cheers. That's disgusting, sorry. So it has officially been two weeks since I tested negative. I wanted to give myself time to rest. My brother-in-law, he's like a scientist and he reads all about this stuff and he said about two weeks after you test negative is, is probably safe. Um, of course, do your own research, do your own whatever. But I've been eating super healthy so I haven't gained any weight since all of this craziness started in part one and now in part two. I want this session to be like a monitoring session so I can just see what my heart rate gets to, if it gets too high, if it gets too high too quickly. I'm gonna be using my Ergata, my Ergata rower. They've been a great partner here on my channel and they're sponsoring today's video as well. So this is a game-based rower, so they keep you in intervals because they're not just games, they're like designed to be a good workout. There's one literally right there called Short and Sweet. They call it Try and Exercise Snack. 
And that's exactly what I need. You know trash traps, they usually have to like have water to activate. I just like lick it. That's probably disgusting, but I do that. I did 968 meters, almost a thousand meters. And right now I'm only in the green, or the middle. I'm not in the red, I'm not pushing it overboard. I'm now at 136, so my heart's recovering nicely, I think. Y'all, I'm really happy to have this in my house, the Ergata in my house, so that way I can manage my fitness on my own time, and I think it makes rowing way more doable than just rowing into the abyss with nothing to look at. This gives you games, this gives you something to shoot for. It, it really walks you through the workout through games, through visuals, and I like that. If you want one of these, I have a code for $50 off. It will be in the description, and also they have 30 days risk free so you can just try it out for yourself. And they also have financing so you can get it for like 62 bucks a month, I believe. I'm happy that I didn't just see myself in the red the entire time. This gave me more confidence, honestly, that I'm, I'm, that I'm okay and that I'm gonna be okay and that I'm gonna be able to recover my, my fitness. And I, I think quickly, honestly, that makes me happy. I'm gonna link a couple articles about what I'm talking about, about you know resting after COVID and giving your body time to rest so you don't do damage to yourself. I'm really glad that I gave myself that time even though it was so annoying to do so because I was on a roll and I'm still on a roll. I stayed with my food so I, I don't, I'm not coming back. I've been on it. I just haven't been doing hardcore intense workouts. I've just been going on walks. So if you gotta take breaks, take a break. I mean, just focus on nutrition or something else healthy for you, you know? It keeps going, you keep, you keep going, you keep growing and you don't have to restart. And that's what I like.